I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question which has been asked from my subscriber on YouTube. I have changed the values here and made it kind of simpler than the question I originally had. Now the question here is, determine the unknown sides of the right triangle ABC whose hypotenuse is 10 cm and area is 24.45 cm square. Now, first of all, let me thank my subscriber for asking me the question. And the solution which I'm going to provide is values trigonometry. Let me know if that helps. I'll also give you a hint of how to do it without trigonometry also, right? Let us first sketch the diagram. So we have a right triangle. So let me just sketch a triangle approximately like this. And in this triangle, we are given ABCs, let us say ABC is the triangle hypotenuse is 10 centimeters so that is 10 centimeters right we need to find the dimensions so that means a b and c b is the side in which we want which we want to calculate second we are also given area of this as let me write area area of the triangle is equals to 24.45 centimeters square okay so that is all which is given to us, we need to find the sides. Now, one way of doing this is you can always write two equations. Let us say, you know, AB square plus BC square equals to 10 square. That is one equation. And the other equation is the area, which is given to us, which is 24.45 is equals to half AB times BC right so that gives you two different equations in two variables these equations can be solved and you can find the sides AB and BC so that is one way of doing it right however I'm not adopting this particular approach for your solution I think you're looking for something like this okay so what we will do here is we'll assume that this angle is theta for us right now if this angle is theta in that case, we can say, we'll use uh, trigonometry here. So we can say sine theta is equals to the opposite side over hypotenuse. So let us say BC over 10. And that gives us BC is equals to 10 sine theta, right? Similarly, we can say cos theta is equals to AB over 10. And therefore, the side AB is equals to 10 cosine of theta, correct? Now, area of the triangle is half base times height. So, in this right triangle, half of base, base is AB for us. So, we'll write 10 cosine theta. So, 10 cos theta. And the height is BC. So, we can write 10 sine theta correct area is given to us as 24.45 that should be equal to half times 10 times 10 is 100 so let me write 100 and then we have sine theta cosine theta correct now we will use here our trigonometric identity which is uh, sine 2 theta, let me write here, sine 2 theta equals to 2 times sine theta cosine theta, right? Uh, I'm not very sure. I hope you are conversant with this. If not, you can always adopt this method, right? So that is what I'm trying to say. Now, let me use this identity. It gives me a simpler solution, a straightforward one. So we have 24.45. If I divide this by 2, I will get 50, right? So we have 50 sine theta cosine theta. Since 2 sine theta cosine theta is 2 sine 2 theta, I will write this as 25 times 2, right? So I could write this as 25. So let me write first 25 times 2 sine theta cosine theta as I've seen sometimes students get confused here 
Now I'll divide 24.45 by 25, right? And what we get here, this one is sine 2 theta, right? So I can write this as sine 2 theta. You get the point. So what I wrote was this thing as sine 2 theta and I divided 24.45 by 25. So now I have a trigonometric ratio sine 2 theta is equals to some fraction and from here I can say 2 theta is equals to sine inverse of this fraction. Correct? So we can use the calculator, second function, and uh, sine inverse within bracket 24.45 divided by 25 equals to, we get angle in degrees, I've set it to degrees. So we'll write this angle as equal to 77.959, okay, that is enough, right? So that is the angle in degrees. That is 2 theta. So theta should be half of this, right? So theta will be half of this. So let me divide that by, let me divide this by 2. We get 38.976. So we get 38.9796. Let me write this as 9. Okay, 97. Fine. So that is theta for us. Now since we know theta, we know the sides AB and BC. Since AB is 10 times cosine theta and BC is 10 times sine theta. You get the point? So now let us write down our answer and that is AB is equals to 10 times cos of the angle which is let us say 38.979. We can calculate this, okay? So we do 10 times cos of the answer whatever we got equals to 7.77 let's write down this as 7.77 similarly the other side which is BC will be 10 times sine of this angle right so let's do that so it is 10 times sine of 38.979 that gives us 6.29 okay 6.29 so that is how you can get the sides and as you will see I have maintained the numbers area so my request is that in your case you have different numbers you can substitute those numbers and get the solution in the way I have done I hope that helps plus also you can find the solution using these two equations right do elimination and substitution to get your answer and don't forget the units since i was forgetting them that is correct so that is how you could actually solve it it is a very challenging question and i'm very thankful to you to sharing this question with me thank you and all the best